Hi, my name is Ruchi Badola. Welcome to my life page. Today, I will be talking about community participation and involving the public at large in biodiversity conservation. So, but before that, let me introduce myself. As far as I am concerned, I work as a senior scientist at the Wildlife Institute of India. And this institute is an autonomous institute of the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. I joined this institute as a researcher and went on to do my PhD on a very critical forest which actually connected the Rajaji and the Corbett National Parks now in Uttar Uttarakhand. Subsequent to my PhD, I joined this institute as a faculty member in 1993 and started my career in teaching, training, doing research in this particular field and also acting as an advisor for the government and other international and national agencies. As you people must have read and heard that biodiversity is the sum of diverse life forms on earth and this is the basis for our survival. Be it the water, be it the ecological security or the food security, through the survival of different pollinators, it all depends on the status of biodiversity on the planet in our vicinity and in our region. And as I told you that my particular field is involving the local communities and other stakeholders in biodiversity conservation. And one of the important uh, ways of conserving biodiversity is through the declaration of protected areas, national parks, sanctuaries, conservation reserves and community reserves. If you want to be a person in biodiversity conservation, basics of ecology is needed because not everybody works with communities, not everybody uh, you know works with the people. The large number of people actually work on the ecology of species and the related fields. So it is extremely important to have a knowledge of ecology even if you are from a non-science background. You are going to work in a field that is going to link science and ground level conservation. It links hardcore science with policy. It is extremely important to understand that whatever research or whatever work you do is not only of academic interest, it is of interest to a large number of stakeholders. So the same research has to be articulated to be understood by the highest level of policy, by the cutting edge scientists and also by the people on the ground, it could be the villagers, it could be the students, it could be the school children or any other stakeholder. So how to package your data set or your information into different packages which would be accepted by and useful to different group of stakeholders is also a skill which needs to be developed and sharpened. There is a lot of satisfaction even if you have contributed to saving or conserving one particular plant, one particular individual of an animal, you know, you sleep so well and you feel so satisfied with your work because there is so much opportunity to do so much in this field. You cannot make an overnight career. It needs patience. When you go into this field, you, there is a phase of learning. There is a phase of performing. And then comes the phase when you will start getting returns for it. So it is definitely not for people who need a quick fix career. You will need to strive, you will need to establish yourself and then only you get into this career. And that is why there is always the need to balance the need for quickly earning money and the need for going into this field which holds a lot of passion, a lot of good quality of life for you. When we are in the field, the day starts very early. Often when we are in the field, it has to be some area, forested area or a national park and a sanctuary. And if we are there, we will never lose an opportunity to the, visit the forest early in the morning, to look at the animals, to look at the forest, to discuss certain aspects of that. So that is the first thing we do. And after coming back, then we start our work, you know, around 9, 9.30 after uh, having breakfast and all. Then we start our usual work. It is about data collection or is it a meeting or is it a training program we have to do. Full day will also end with a discussion or a trip into the forest, which is the most important part of our work. So I hope I have given you a clear picture of what a career in this field is like. Uh, let me tell you, it is very exciting. It is very promising and it is very fulfilling. And it doesn't matter what degree, what you hold, where, wh how much you are educated, you can always find a uh, you know, foothold here. But what is needed is passion, 
commitment and love for nature and all things that nature has created. Thank you.